In this video, we're going to take a look at activity 3.1.2, Basic Outputs Programming. This will be the third section, also called Spinning Ahead. And this is where we're going to be looking at controlling two smart motors So in our with our programming. Smart motors, as noted in the text here, is they're a little different from three-wire servos and have a lot more options. So one of the things that we may want to explore is a built-in help feature within VexCode. So I'm going to go ahead and open up VexCode. And here inside of VexCode, let me go ahead and uh, increase the size of this just a little bit. We can go ahead and click on the question mark button and it says to select a block for more information. So we can see here like spinning motors, it'll give an information of how we can use the block and be able to have some of it as well. So setting the different positions and what kind of options we have, spinning and setting different torques. So there's uh, some setting blocks and then there's some action blocks. So spinning and things like that. So settings usually go through and have it set for a certain amount of like maybe a velocity, that's a very common one, or at a certain position, those types of things. And this help menu helps kind of give you a little bit of background on those. I'm gonna go ahead and collapse that menu. Right now I am working out of the Activity 312 Part 3 code that we, um, code program that we saved from the previous video. So now when I look inside of the instructions, they have a little bit of information on how to reverse or change some of the names, whether it's a motor goes up or down or even forward or reverse, depending upon orientation of motor and what you're using it for. Then they want us to look at these simple behaviors and build a program from it. And so it says make the left motor spin for three seconds at 50% speed, stop, and then spin backward at full speed before for three seconds before stopping. And then we want to make the right motor spin backward to 180 degrees, then spin to position 100. So if I go into VEX code, I'm going to start grabbing some of these. So the first thing we want to do is we want to start off by setting the left motor's velocity to 50%. And then we want to go ahead and spin the left motor going forward. We want it to run for three seconds. So I'll grab a control under the control block. And in the contextual menu, I can go ahead and type in three to make that happen. They want us to stop the motor, the left motor, and then they would like us to then go through and set the, the velocity of the left motor to full power, which would be 100%, and then spin the left motor in reverse, which I can choose from the contextual menus here. And then we want to run that for three seconds. So one of the things that I kind of like to do is rather than move back and forth between, let me split the blocks, I'll duplicate this, grab that, stamp these together, rather than having to move back and forth and dragging and dropping. Then they want us to stop the left motor. We're already here, so I can go ahead and just drag it in. And then they want us to, to spin the right motor in reverse for 180 degrees. So here is the block we want. We want to spin it. So spinning it for a certain amount of degrees and spinning it to a position are two different things. So we want to do right motor. We want it to spin in reverse for 180 degrees. And then they want us to spin it to position 100 degrees. So let me grab this other block here. Right motor, position, 100 degrees. So this would be our code that we would work from and this is what we can use to download and see what do we get the intended behavior that we see from our particular code here. Might be good to grab a comment block. I'm going to throw the comment block up here at the top and in the contextual menu we can go ahead and put motors and we'll say We'll call this spinning ahead. All right, so now as I take a look, I need to make sure my brain is on before I can make sure that I can download this program. I'm going to download to slot one and I'm just going to go ahead and hit download. And then I'll hit the run button. All right, 
and then here we'll be able to see that the program is done running so I can go ahead and hit stop and then I can go ahead and uh, prepare for the next part so as we finish up this part three in the instructions this third part they want us to complete the task record notes about programming with the motor again multiple ways this is going to be done but they want us to save and share the code so one of the things that we might want to do is we've already got part three the auto save feature already has part three saved for us so i would go ahead and hit the share button this will share the code that you have on the screen this will give it the file name you can go ahead and hit save and it is saving in your folder verify that it is and hit save and then while we're at it before we move to the next video i'm going to go to file and i'm going to go to save as before i make any changes to the code and I'm going to go ahead and name this for, we're going to call this last section part four. And I'm going to go ahead and say, hit save. Now that I go through and have this, I can go ahead and grab my code and drag it off there. So now I've got part four blank and ready to go, which will start in the next video.